and welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day this very, very fine Tuesday. Did you all survive April Fool's Day? Yes. I mean, it was nice of them to make a holiday celebrating me, but the reality is I'm not that big of a fool. Just when I'm trying to do Redstone on stream. Fortunately, that is not the goal today. No, no. Today, we have other things in mind. <laughs> Yes, let's jump over into the game. Ah, uh, all right. So, let's see now. So, <laughs> I'm I'm back in my tower. It's night, and you can tell by the stars that not only is it night, but I am lacking anything resembling a roof on this tower. And I think it's time to change that because I'd like to really get this top floor you know, kind of finished-ish, so that it's nice for a shop other than just being the pop-up shop, right? Hey, Snoopers, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. So, I should also set my status. So, that's what I'm going to be working on today, is trying to figure out what the heck is going to go on with this roof. And I have... Uh, I have thoughts. Okay. Are they good thoughts? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to see what sort of thoughts I have. And step one, I think, is going to involve getting up onto the wall. I mean, it's hard to build a roof from down here. I might also have to silence that beacon. I set it up because I was doing some digging a little bit. Uh, well, I don't know. Someday that was prior to today, and now, yeah, it may have to be temporarily si silenced, but, <sighs> now, here's the problem, okay? I have what is basically a square building, except it's not, right? The outer dimensions are square, but I've cut off these corners on both sides, which definitely gives the building a little bit of a diamond shape which is cool okay i love it but it does make uh roofing a little bit of a challenge now, i've thought about putting just like, like a basic dome over this but the more i've thought about it, i don't think the dome is gonna quite fit the theme of this build or the style of this build right because you look at it the shape of the build building is very angular okay Yes, I've got diagonals, and the decorations here are a little bit, you know, oval. But the building itself is definitely angular. So I think whatever I put on top of this needs to also be somewhat angular. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but, you know, that is the challenge right there anyway. Now, I think what I might do... What, what might I do? What might I do? I might do something. Or I might just fall off. That's okay, too. What if we do something here? I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got some dirt with me. I'm going to basically maybe sketch this out with dirt and kind of see how, how this might go. We'll see. I'm not totally convinced I, I know what I'm doing, but... When has that ever stopped me? Okay, if I come up here-ish. Now this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I come up to here, okay, I could continue this window up this way because I really like the idea of the, the window remaining the focus, right? So if I bring this this way, okay, and we'll see how this goes in a bit, but we'll, if I bring this this way, and then let's see, where's the, the center of this is where that torch is, I think. Hey, Thomas, welcome in, welcome in. Glad to have you here. Yeah, so let's 
pop down here and I'm gonna do something a little a little funky I think so so one two five six seven I think is that where do I want to put the roof <laughs> or the ceiling? I'm going to put ceiling in air quotes here, but I think, what is that one? Right. So it's seven up to here. I think I want to go eight would be the top, right? So I'm just going to run this over this way. I don't think this is going to stay, but I want to see where this is. Okay. Cool, so this is the center of the tower. All right. All right, so what, what I might do here, hmm, I wonder, how would this, what if I were to bring this at sort of an angle up to that, okay? If I make that the ceiling, I come down at an angle, maybe not all the way to the center. What if I bring this down? Heck, what, let's just take it at a 45 degree. Let's just see what that does. And oh yeah, this is lovely. Um, cool. Cool, I know how to get up here. It's gonna be fine, everything's gonna be great. So, where is the center of this? Does this have a center? No. Well, I mean, it does, but also no. Um, right. So, the center would be right here. So, if I bring this down like that, and then... Okay. One of those is the right place. And... You're gonna get all... Ah! Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Gravity works. I believe I can fall. I believe I can splat the stuff. I can't rhyme because words are real hard. Just like the floor that I landed on. All right, so let's bring this this way. You ever wonder why I don't have a career as a singer? That's it right there. Yes, Siri Bob. I do not. My, my wife, my daughters, they sing beautifully. I am, I did not get that talent. All right, so what if I were to bring this down to about here? Okay, and this is gonna be a little funky, but. All right, let's try something here like this. Do I have, I do. Torches, yay, torches, okay. So one, two, one, two, right? And then three, because that's how numbers work. Three. All right, and if I do the same thing on the other side, I think what I'm gonna end up doing here, which I think if I come out this way, I'm gonna end up basically tracing out a circle. All right, and by circle, I mean square, because this is in fact Minecraft and we we don't do things in circles because that would be weird. All right. So probably what I should do is bring, is do that side here too. Because I, I like the idea of doing, so kind of what I'm thinking. I, if, if uh, thinking is actually the word for this, is basically I'm gonna come, or bring this down to a center squarely dealy bob, and then bring it kind of back up and maybe down something, almost like a diagonal W, but kind of, it's hard to explain. I think I know what I'm doing, but it's definitely weird. All right, so for, Two, five, six, 
seven. All right, hang on. Where am I at? 134 I'm looking at, and then this block is 134. Okay, perfect. All right, so now this should match. Does it match? No, that's, um, oh, hang on. I need to, I need to make a, no, wrong. Ah, geez. I need to turn off tweak room configs and I think it was this one. Act. Tack? No. Where, there was a... Sometimes I just want to... What do I have turned on, right? Tweak zoom. That's good. Inventory preview. It was generic. I don't remember. I had, I had a, I had turned something on the other day. Oh yeah, free cam player input. That's the one. Turn that off. Okay. Yeah, that player input one is what allows me to move free cam while I'm attacking, which was great when I was debugging the raid farm. But now I need to see the coordinates where I'm at, and that's not how that works. All right, so we're gonna go this way. Okay. I admit, this is a little bit cheaty. I do not care. Some of you might though, and that's okay. All right, so yeah, so that brings us down to here. All right, so that's what, seven across and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. All right, so this should form a nice square. Okay. So, so that's gonna go like that. Okay, right, so if this angles down that way and then I mean I could I could just run this straight across but I want to I don't ah uh, I don't know I don't I don't know I'm just trying to figure out the shape here and it's Hard for me to visualize and hard to explain. Okay, so cool. So that's gonna go that way. Now this is was that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if I do this this way, one. Two, right? And then three, because counting four, <laughs> five, and six will put me up here, right? And now actually it turns out six put me way the heck down here, because, you know, I can't stay on things. I do like how this torch is just holding up the weight of the tower. It's all good. It's all good. It's great. All right. Yeah. Drama. All the drama. Yep. So I could do that this way. And then what if I am so good at the drama? That's why I did comedy. It's I needed a challenge, right? All right. 
What if I bring this then down this way? One more? Yeah, let's do it one more. Okay. And so we end up with... It's weird. This is a, a weird roof of roofiness. And it is going to be, there's going to be a lot of glass on this, by the way, just as I'm thinking about it. But, you know, so it's, because I do want it to be sort of open. I love, like the window there. So having a lot of light on this top floor would be great. Okay, so this comes in this way, and then do the same thing over here, right? So, one, two, three, four, and then again, five, right? So that's, I mean, Y133. That is Y134, so I need to come up one more. Okay. Right? Is that... Right? That seems wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, I guess that's right. All right, cool. Cool, and then if I come back down this way again... Right, and this is going to angle this roof ever so carefully all the way the heck down here. Oops, that's not where I wanted to put that. All right. Cool, and basically do something along these. I know it looks a little bit like a spider and that's kind of okay. But I like this idea. All right, it's gonna be a little weird to figure out how it's actually going to work, but I definitely like the idea. All right, so let's hop back out here and kind of see. You know, I'm not sure. I'm very much not sure now. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Because bringing the window up one more level is cool, right? There's, that's not going to be a problem. Because that, that's just the definitive feature of this building. So doing that's going to be cool. But if I run that across, do I actually want to angle this down or just run this straight? And then kind of sort of angle down. I All right. I think I want to try building some of this. Let's uh let's go see if I have some tough blocks. I am definitely going to have to figure out a more convenient way of getting into my storage. All right, so let's see. Tough blocks. There we go. Cool. I actually have some, which is great. All right, we're going to polish up a bunch of tough here. All right, now. Up is easy. <laughs> Up takes me right up to the portal. All right, so I think what I want to do is something. I something definitely wants to be done here. Um, all right, one, two, three, four, five. Right, and then we're coming across here like this. Okay, and then I want to bring this portion of the tower up here. 
All right. That will continue the window up that way. All right. Cool beans. So that's that. Let's, um, let's see what I might do. Okay, I know nope, I had some weird thoughts and I don't remember what they are now, so we're just going to move on. All right, no, that's fine. Everything's fine. I can be down here. It's this is down here is lovely. Ugh. So I stretch out my neck. I uh, came home from work today and had a killer headache. It was bad enough I was wondering if I was actually going to be able to stream today. But I'm mostly okay now, so I'm good with that. Two, three, four, five. Alright. And again, I'm just going to double check. We're at 134 and 134. Okay. I do try to not be in pain. I'm a big fan of not being in pain. But... Sometimes my body has other ideas, and uh, I don't appreciate it when it does. Yeah. No, thank you. It's said it wasn't. No, it it sucked. It was bad. But fortunately, I came home. I came home a little early because I ended up working through lunch, and it was nice. I've got to sit back against. I've got a little portable massager thing. I was able to lean against and get a hot pad. Hmm. I don't know. These are... Ugh, reach over here. So, I don't know if any of you have, like, corn or rice bags, right? It's just a bag. I have, I have one like this. I actually have many of them. This one is just sort of long and skinny that I can microwave and just wrap around my neck. And it's like, ah, oh, this is so nice. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Laid back against that for, for half an hour or something when I got home. And, yeah. That was, that was lovely. All right, I think what I want to try to do. I want to bring this over that way. Let's, let's just bring this straight across. And yes, by straight, I mean at an angle, but it's, it's straight, you know. It, it's still a line. Somewhat, you know, a diagonal line, but hey. All lines are awesome. All right. Cool. So I'm going to bring this across. Now, I was, said I was thinking about angling down. And I think I may still do that, but I think I've got another idea for that. So we're gonna just bring this right across here. It looks like my scaffolding's in the way. Okay. Yeah, I think my wave is going backwards. All right, nice. I, I like what this is going though. It's going to be a little... <sighs> I don't know. Some people like doing roofs. I am not one of them. I was so tempted just to uh, put a flat roof on this and call it a day. But that it that just seemed... I don't know. It seemed a little... I don't know. Too, too simple. Too easy. I don't know. Too much of something. Okay. Cool. So, right. So if I take this this way and let's invert this. Okay. So that's going to come up. We'll angle it down and let's bring, okay. I think I think I have an idea. I know it's weird ideas, but yes. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> One, thirty-four. All right. I 
have an idea. I think. I think what I want to do here is I, I decided I want to bring this all the way across the central area here, right? So the windows will come up and I'm just going to come straight across where the windows were. All right. But I still want to connect to whatever this corner is, but rather than bringing it straight across, right? You see, I sort of built this sort of wavy deal out of dirt. I think that's going the wrong way. It's like, I've got a sign. I need a cosine. We're going to invert this curvy angle dealy bob and let's kind of see where that goes i think this could be i think this could be fun okay so what i'm going to do is basically do what i did before oh look rain all right um i don't know how far this is gonna have to go though Somewhere around here. Set that there. All right. And yeah, so that's going to go down that way. So we're down to, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm confusing myself and falling. Awesome. Yep, I lost all sense of space and, and I was going to say time, but... That, I think, requires a TARDIS. If you're going to lose track of space and time, you either need a TARDIS or a starship with a Scottish engineer. I, I don't know if there's any other options in between. I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Also, just kind of creeper-proof that a little bit. All right, so let's see now. We're going to... Let's pop those off. All right. And I'm going to bring this one down. Oops, that's that way. All right. And can I reach over there? I can kind of, sort of. Not enough, though. All right, but I think I can do it from here. Oops, that's not where that's supposed to go. There. All right, and now I can bring this one down like that. Okay. So how, how's that shape? Okay. Yeah, it's definitely weird, and I'm actually okay with weird. I'm 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 actually really digging the idea of weird here today. So. Yeah, all right. I don't know how else this is going to go, but we're going to uh, pick up those tough blocks. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to, you know, fall. Since I'm down here, let's go ahead and sleep, and then we'll head back up. Figure out what the heck this is going to do. I... Because I don't know. I have no idea. This this is this is 100% uh, off the cuff. Said I I thought about doing a dome. I don't didn't like the idea of a dome ultimately. I just thought it was the wrong I thought round was the wrong shape for this build. So we're going to not be round. Right? All right so what? One, two, three, four, five. That puts me, yeah. All right, and so we went down. How far did we go down? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Nice. So. One. Nope. That's fine. You go there. So one, two. Three. And because counting works this way, four comes after three on, in most mathematical systems. 
Okay. All right, and let's see. Where's my... Do I have scaffolding to get up there? I don't. That's okay. We'll just... We'll just meander up this way. I think I've got enough... I've got dirt walking up that way, so we should be okay. All right, so... Ah, jeez, monkeys. Nope, that, that's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm... This is why I don't do parkour. <laughs> All right. So that's going to go there. And then we're going to go up to. Oh, well, one, two, three, and then four. All right. Nice. So I think this is going to give us sort of a, a a shape for the roof. It is definitely a shape. Um, <laughs> cool. So now, how is this going to how's this going to work? I have no idea. <laughs> Not a clue. This is. I am, I'm confused, and I'm, I'm, we're going to make this yeah, a tough roof to build. Yeah, exactly, Thomas, exactly. I raise a golden carrot in your honor. All right. So, let's see. So, this is going to come. All of, all of that dirt is going to come out, except I do like the idea of Actually, I kind of like this idea of the central square. If I do a roof over that. Okay. Let's. We're going to just bring this down this way. Okay. Hey, White Top, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fine and exciting Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and just just continue this square here. Not that there. That's you're out of line. And because of that, you must be removed. It's not unlike well, something. Okay, so this is going to go this way. And then what I can do is, let's go up like this. Just right on top of all of the dirt. Okay, that's not on top of the dirt. How dare you not be on top of the dirt? Wow. For blocks that label themselves as being tough, they're uh, not so much. Of course, having the haste beacon probably does not help the situation anyway for them. But that's okay. It just proves that I am tougher than tough and, you know, probably some form of something. All right. Cool. So that, so that's going to hang down that way. I may end up changing some of that, some of those uh, blocks, but for now we're going to kind of go with it. And let's figure out now how this... how this roof is going to go. Because the short answer is I do not have a clue. Sort of want to... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Looking at this like, this was designed by a madman crossed with MC Escher. And, uh, I, I just don't know that I'm okay with that, but we're gonna go with it. We're we're just going to improv the heck out of this and hope for the best. And uh, <laughs> I'm, it's gonna look, you know, it's like something. I I guarantee you when this is done, it will definitely look like something. People will look at this and like, yeah, that's um um something, I guess. 
Yeah, that's absolutely how this is going to go. <laughs> You're still trying to figure out what I'm doing? Hey, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing. And yes, I am going to be putting in a glass ceiling. Because, yeah. So here's kind of what I was, what I was originally thinking, okay? I'm going to free cam over here, was that I would sort of angle the roof up and then down. And then this central area would be glass. And I, I'm still thinking of doing that, but I'm actually kind of thinking what I might do here is turn this into a giant planter and maybe get some greenery growing up this way and then spilling out, I think would be cool. There was some glass coming in across the central spire, perhaps, or the central you know, rectangular dealy bob. And then, yeah, as far as the rest of this, ooh, I'm, I might need more tough. Um, the 18 blocks of polished tough are not going to be enough. So cool. Let's head back down to my storage. Let's see how much I've got in the way of tough. Uh, tough. That's not a lot. But okay, we'll, we'll go with it. Now, what I'm thinking is I may put this tough in and then, um, replace some of them, maybe with some stone brick or, um, something else, but... For now, we're going to take the tough. Hey, Carp. Welcome, welcome. Hope your day is going well. It's, it's happy Tuesday. All right. So, what was I looking at? I don't know. I'm getting lost in my own designs. Okay. Right. So, I think what I'm going to do is let's oh actually actually yeah let's go get some stone i'm gonna put in some stone yeah let's get some stone brick just because it's gonna match what i'm doing elsewhere where's my door there's my door hello and i even have some stone brick this is gonna make this possibly better. I guess I don't really have to uh, put that in a craft table or anything to brick it up, but we're going to anyway. Should harvest that sugar, too. <sighs> yep, I need to set up a little sugar farm. Just so I can have convenient paper. You know how that goes. All right. I think I know what I'm doing, which is kind of scary. And maybe together we'll actually get this all figured out and understand what's happening in my very confused uh, ibuprofen laden mind here. All right. So what I'm going to do is we're going to come up that way. Yeah, let's just. Let's just hit it on the diagonals, and then we'll see what happens. Kind of like that idea, and I may fill in the gaps with something. Actually, I might put slabs along those gaps, too. But let's, let's just bring these over like this. Okay. I could also put glass in between, too, which would be kind of cool. also been somewhat tempted and I'm not I haven't totally thought about it but I'm tempted to put a beacon through the center of this too what do I think of the potato update um it exists I didn't play it but uh, uh so you know it looked like fun was had by some people said I didn't play it I didn't really 
uh, see any gameplay of it, but. But what do they have? A grappling hook in there too, of some variety or other? And potatoes are always delicious, so you know that's a good thing. Okay. This is immensely easier when you've got cheaty block placement. All right. Yep, yep. So, set so some of it, and we run out of roof here. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think I want vertical or I want horizontal glass panes, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I know some people played it. Um, I know Pixel Rift streamed it the other day. I may, he, he's going to be putting something up on YouTube. It'll be fun to see, but it's fun. I'm glad they're having fun with it. Uh, Honestly, I kind of think this update, and I don't know for sure, I kind of think this update was a test to see how well some of their, um, some of the recent changes they've made to the data packs and stuff, how well that works and how easy it is to add those types of worlds using their updated um, data pack model. Right, it, okay. All right, so this is going to meander this way and this way, and we are at the roof line. Okay. Yeah, okay, so the idea is when you look at it this way, you, can you see the angle of the roof now? Right, you get that sort of curvy down and back up. Yeah, see, that's kind of what I'm looking at here. I might. Yeah, right. It's a C now. Once you sort of it, just the framework didn't work, but kind of once you start starting to fill it in a little bit, you kind of get an idea of what's going on. And then if I were to bring Right, the the tough blocks up this way, um, I and I or something up this way to kind of kind of connect the roof to the wall, <laughs> you know, something like that. Right, so it kind of makes a little bit of sense, and you look at it. Obviously, it's a lot of angles and there's a lot of holes, but yeah, that can I can work with that to try to make it do stuff. Right. But it's starting to make a little bit of sense and it's bringing, and what it's actually doing. So, it's weird, right? Getting this, this roof angle, it looks a little curvy and that's kind of okay. I wanted it a little bit more angular, but making it curvy kind of brings these shapes up a little bit into the roof. Okay, and part of that's just because, it, hey, it's Minecraft and I'm dealing with giant blocks, but, right, that's sort of the idea, and I think it's going to end up being a really nice, a really nice look overall, especially if I, I okay, I'm thinking of leaving, said, uh, leaving this flat, I'm also thinking of maybe completing a sentence before I start the next one, uh, but don't count on it. But if I leave this flat and take this angle in, I think that's going to give this, the top of this building just a nice, nice finishing touch. So let's get this side bricked out and then we'll kind of see what it looks like and how else I want to uh, maybe try to put this together. And, uh, there's a lot of copper over there. Cool. Anyway. That's fine. This is going to look said so this first pass is definitely looking messy and that's okay. I have a feeling that a lot of these bricks are going to end up being removed. Uh, 
as I finish this process. Right. I mean, removed or something. Now, I think I mentioned it before. In these gaps, I could put in slabs and kind of smooth that out a little bit, which would be cool. Um, I could also... Actually, I might do that just because it's going to be... Um, it might be a little bit... I don't know. I was going to say not noisy, but... It may just fit a little bit better. Okay. And that's gonna do that. Oh look, a creeper. I guess uh some of that hill might need a little bit more light. Awesome. Well that's fine. As long as the creeper stays over there and doesn't meander onto my bridge, we'll be fine. We will be just peachy. Sorry, I don't think it can meander onto my bridge, so. It's all good. All right, let's finish getting this side done. Yeah, it's, this was definitely one of those things as I was thinking about it, trying to visualize what I wanted this to do in my head. I just could not... I, I couldn't explain it. I couldn't quite visualize it. Couldn't quite do anything with it. <laughs> sort of like having really curly hair in a really humid environment, you know? You kind of know it's there, and you want to do something with it. You just can't. Yeah, that's... That is a problem. At least according to my daughters. Yeah. And while they have me to blame for their curly hair, uh, I never wore mine long enough to uh, have to worry about that. Yeah, it's funny. My wife has very straight hair. She can't do anything with it. Um, she She's tried getting perms and stuff to try to put some wave into her hair, and it just... It stays for a little while and then kind of gives up. On the other hand, my mom had ringlets when she was little, <laughs> and uh, my daughter's inherited that curl. Okay. Yeah, I think this is I think this is going to be good. Um Yeah, I'll have to figure out a little bit as far as connecting this. Um All right. But yeah, I think this is going to be a nice though to be fair, from a certain angle, it does almost look like a cowboy hat. That's uh, okay. We can work with that. <laughs> Do they appreciate their curls? Not especially. Um, my oldest daughter uh, did not like her hair at all, apparently. She uh, she had the most beautiful red hair. And it was curly and uncontrollable. And yeah, these days she's... These days she's... Uh, She's blonde <laughs> and is and straightens her hair and uh yeah. <laughs> Classic flying nuns hat. Alright, yeah, that's That's exactly what I'm going for. I, I absolutely want my building to look like a nun. Okay. We'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes. Yeah, um, I do have one daughter who has has straight hair, but her hair takes a curl a little bit better than my wife's does, so she's she can do a little bit with it. It also doesn't help that my girls were all in ballet, and yep, first thing they learned to do was how to create a bun, and their hair has not come down since. That's just... <laughs> Yep. Okay, so we're making 
progress. I think I do want to... I'm not sure if I want to leave this as tough. I think I do, but I think I'm going to maybe put in some cobblestone or something in between here. We'll kind of see when I start getting the slabs and stuff in place. But yeah, this is definitely starting to... Okay, did I get all of it? One, two, three, four sides. Okay, yes. Yeah, it's weird. Now, we do have the slight problem, which actually is not insurmountable, of dealing with uh, this gap. And you're right, Thomas, this is going to look... Interesting is definitely a word for it. Uh, <laughs> but I think it's going to be okay. It's going to be... It's going to be weird. It's it's definitely a... It's not a shape that you see on buildings very often, and I'm okay with that. Now, I, I'm actually thinking about this top area. I think I might actually continue the, the wave up along the top, but we'll see. Yeah, the corners... So... I definitely want to pull in something. I think what I might do is actually bring in the cobblestone into these corners. This this window is going to continue all the way up here to the roof. So I basically have that same glass window that goes roof to floor. Okay. Um, and yeah, as I'm looking at this, bringing it up one more, or just in a wave here, I think you're right. I think that could could look good. And then I do want to bring some glass. Uh, Thomas, you're about some yellow and pink glass, and some of it would definitely be would definitely be a good thing. And I said I was thinking about that here across the middle. Um, but so I've got this central square area, and like I said, I'm thinking of making this some form of some form of greenery. I'm not good with uh, I'm not good with planters. I'm not good with all of that stuff, right? I redstone is where I like to play around and design is something I do because it's fun, but I don't have those talents. It, exactly. Hanging garden, exactly. Exactly. So All right, so let's go ahead and if I want to do this, hang on, I'm sure I'm doing this in the same place. So, looks like I would need to come up here and, is that right? I don't think that's right. Okay. Or an aquarium. Actually, that's not necessarily a bad idea either. Could be a little bit of both. I was thinking of glass here. Said I, I was toying with the idea of actually running a permanent beacon through the middle, whether it stays on or not, as as far as uh, power or anything. I don't know, but it could be fun. Um, right. So basically, I need to come up. Oh, right. This is because we've got that two block gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's just ignore the gap. And unlike the British, we are not going to mind the gap. Thank you very much. We are going to, uh, you know, do weird things with the gap. Okay. Right. Is that where, is that where this wants to go? Maybe. This is, I'm in definite maybe territory here, y'all. We are definitely, definitely maybeing our way across this. Okay. And yeah, I think a lot of this brick is going to come out and be replaced by something else 
On the other hand, if I don't, it means I've got all sorts of slabby goodness happening here. So that or this slabby goodness that I can make happen here. All right, so that's going to meander right on over here. So that goes to there. Is that how I did that? Oh, okay. It's like, wait a minute. Why does that stop? No, I think I want to move this. All right. Recall an aquarium someone made on the roof of the spawn center. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's move these back here a little bit. Oh, okay. It's fine. That's just peachy. All right, All right let's, we'll go down here and pick up these blocks first instead, because that's just like I planned it. Absolutely how I planned it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gonna fly. Just gonna fly. I was. Yeah. Excellent. You know. Landing is is just as an important part of flying as, you know, actually flying. Maybe even more important. All right. So if this is going to come up this way, yeah, I want it to angle in like that instead. All right. Okay, yeah, so we'll just bring this across this way. I don't know how much... Actually, before I go across the whole thing, okay... Um, let's see, I'm going to come up here. Let's just be sure I've got the basic shape down, so I kind of... So I know if I'm actually going to like what this looks like. And, let's see. Right, so now I'm at the angle here, so I could... Yeah. Right, so this would go this way. And then we'll come up here. And I'm not convinced that's all going to stay tough, but right now I'm just uh, working out the shape here. Okay, because <clears throat> shapes are good. Shapes are definitely good. All right. Yeah, and we'll see if, if you're right, because... I. You might be snoopers. You might be right that this a central wave or continuing the wave across the top is going to look good. All right. All right. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Here, I'll actually bring it a little bit closer. But do we keep the wave on top? I mean, it's... Magnificent. Okay. Yeah. I think that could work. You're in like with it. All right. Cool. Cool. That's all right. All right. We can go with that. Nice. <laughs> Uh, all right, sweet. So let's go ahead and bring this across, and we'll uh, so we'll bring it all the way across the other side. Okay, I'm sure I'm sitting right. I'm catching myself leaning like with like doofenshmirtz with my chin like way forward, and that's not doing good things for my neck. I kind of wonder if uh, Dr. Doofenshmirtz actually had, like, a hefty chiropractor bill that his uh, his ex-wife was paying for. I, I don't know. It's kind of wonder. And 
like that show, Phineas and Ferb, was so good. It was so good. Remember? Yeah. Well, it doesn't help a little bit that my my gaming monitor is up just a little bit. And yeah. But yeah, man. I can't remember. I think I started watching Phineas and Ferb and my kids were started to watch with me and Oh yeah. We all sort of got into it. It's a great show. It is it is really You know, I think what I'm going to do is this top row I'll do with uh, tough blocks. Here's the 46 and, and uh, a bit up. Yeah. So my, my monitors aren't quite that big, but the way I've got them set up, I've got, I've got a three monitor set up. So the first two monitors, oops, that's, the first two monitors are stacked one above each other. And my direct eye line is to the bottom bevel of the top monitor, which means my bottom monitor is actually a little bit low. And that's where I've got, I've got, I've got chat, I've got my recording OBS, I've got Discord. Um, so, you know, that type of thing. In fact, I'm looking at the wrong Discord channel. Um, because part of what I have Discord, I've got stream logs that get sent to my Discord server. To a, to a private channel that I have there. Okay. And then off to the right, right under the webcam is... Streaming OBS with chat and also my notes for whatever episode I'm working on. And, uh, and that one's actually sits like halfway up in between. So it's kind of like I've got a triangle of monitors. It's, uh, it's a little awkward. I, I guess it's not awkward. That's actually really nice. Typically I work on these two that are in front of me and then on the one off the side, that's where I'll put YouTube or, or Jellyfin or Twitch or whatever I'm watching while I'm doing stuff. So it works out nicely. And, or if I'm, when I was working from home, that was the monitor I put the uh, meetings on because it's right under the camera, right? So if I'm looking at the camera, I'm looking at that my third monitor that's off to the side, right? And so that was, so it's kind of nice. It, it, it works. It's not perfect. Like I said, I really should raise this, uh, this one monitor up a little bit. You have a 40 inch on each side of the main one. I think mine are all, I think th these two in the center are 28 inches and the one off to the sides at 26, I think something like that. My desk space is not large. <laughs> when uh, it was funny. So my streaming area for a long time was basically just, it was a monitor on a TV tray, or I had a two monitor thing on a TV tray with another monitor on a bookshelf off to the side, same basic configuration, but I was squeezed in this little bitty space. And when we had to go start working from home because of the pandemic, um, uh, used to have a DJ lighting truss. Okay. Nice. Um, yeah, when we had to start working at home, from home because of the pandemic, that's what I worked on for a while, and it was okay, but it was really awkward, and it just was starting to feel uncomfortable. So we uh, went out, we went out to Walmart, and we ended up getting a cheap plastic folding table, right? Complete with a carry handle, the carry handle is where I hang my headphones, <laughs> you know, and it was just the perfect length 
for this space. So we took out the one bookshelf. Uh, I had some shelves that were against the wall where this green screen is that was just holding old VHS tapes. So we, we got rid of most of the VHS. And actually the bookshelf that was on this side is now, it's this one that's behind me. And yeah, and that became my uh, office for the lack of a better word. But it's, it made a much nicer work environment, presented a nicer environment when I had to be on camera for work. And it's a much nicer streaming space. What I really need to do is, if I had the free cash, I would look at it a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, that's looking better. Because I need some better lighting. I think what I need is like a good key light up here. But, and I need to adjust some lighting so I can actually use my green screen again. But, okay. Okay, this is pretty okay. We've got some funkiness here. Oh, yeah, this is, this is totally funky. All right, we got, I need to move this. All of these tough pillars here are in the wrong place. Okay. And because they, what they really should do is continue the angle, right? So this should come up this way. Okay. Like this. Okay. And let's come over on this side. And things are going to get a little bit interesting here in the middle. All right, so that's going to go that way. Yeah. Yeah, that, that fixes that shape just a little bit better. And then I need to figure out these corners because those are a little, little uh, well, it's all funky. Or in the immortal wor words of uh, Earthworm Jim, funky. Well, that was a fun game. And if you play Earthworm Jim on your uh, good old fashioned Super Nintendo, okay. I want to fly under there. That was the weirdest game, and I, I loved it because it was just so weird. Yeah, it was... So everything about it was just odd and just a little bit off, and it's great. I mean, your main character is an earthworm in a robot suit. <laughs> I mean, there's there's one of the first levels of Earthworm Jim 2, which is uh, the game I have, though I, I did play the original with one of my friends. Um, one of the first levels, you have to move cows around. I mean, literally, you pick up the cows and carry them over to places where, where they can activate weights to uh, make things happen. It's strange. And there are a couple of levels where the the game music is like, oh yeah, we're going to do Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. Now, I love Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, but it was just a weird choice for a game. You know? <laughs> there was also an equally weird cartoon that didn't quite wasn't actually good, I think, is, is how I want to put that. Okay, yeah, that's that's a little bit better, and it fixes my corners. Okay, and then I think this... Oh, right, that's that center. Okay. Yeah, I need to change out some of those blocks, but I think we've got a good look here. 
yeah, just a little a little variation here with how I had the roof going. But this is good. This is this is looking nice. I think yeah, I'm going to want to pull some of this back because right now it's looking a little bit top heavy. But I really like what this is doing. And I said I can come in here in these gaps and put slabs in, which will really help this roof smooth out and stuff. So I'm digging this. I'm really digging this. Ah, oh, thank you. Yes, yes. I'm, I said it's a little weird, but it's working on, on angles is always a challenge. And I did, in fact, give myself apparently an angle challenge, but okay. Yeah, this is going to come up this way. But yeah, the shape is definitely coming together. The blocks, like, I don't think I want um, all of this uh, angly goodness here to be tough. Right? All of the stuff on, on the outside. But you can also see it weaving out to a point on the top. Yeah, the northwest, north, and southeast sides. Yeah. Yeah, there are definite definite things that could happen with this. <laughs> Call it neo-modern, huh? Okay. I'm not... <laughs> I need to uh, read up more on architecture. For some reason, I ended up on the mailing list for Architecture Digest. Right? Do I still have... Yeah. Yeah, no, seriously, I'm not kidding. Architecture Digest. And one of these, I kept a couple of them because, okay, I could flip through and it's like, oh, look, chairs and colors and stuff. I'm going to have to dig through because I absolutely linked it in my Discord. But they showed a build that was 100% Minecraft starter base. If, if I could describe what that build actually looked like, what that thing was, it was 100% Minecraft starter base. Like, it was stone blocks <laughs> in a cave. It was so weird. I'll have to go. It's in my Discord. I'll have to go find it. But I could not believe it. I looked at that and said, okay. It's cool that they're reusing the caves and stuff. But man, I looked at that and said, yep, I can build that in Minecraft. <sighs> all right, anyway, what to do, what to do about all of this. All right, so that's gonna go through. That, I've got too much tough happening up here and I need to deal with that. Um. All right, let's get some, I'm gonna get some cobblestone. Greatest building block ever, right? Okay, so let's, let's get some cobblestone. And I have, I have an idea and I don't know that it's gonna look good, but we're gonna try it. All right, so. What I want is, do I have any slabs? No, okay, cool. We're gonna take some cobblestone slabs. Ah, uh, why not? We'll go ahead and slab up both of those. Up, 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 and away! All right, so, and gotta be careful how you land on this roof, otherwise you go plummeting through the inside. All right, so I'm just going to actually use cobblestone slabs here for a minute and let's let's just do part of one side here, okay? Let's just see what this looks like. And I'm doing this partly because it pulls in a lot of what I'm oops, that's not where that goes. A lot of what I'm doing on the sides, right? Cuz it's brick with cobblestone in the middle. 
that's not what that goes. Sadly, the uh, game is not quite dwimmy enough. It doesn't do what I mean quite the way I want it to. All right, and then... Okay, that's... A... It's not bad, but I think it's going to need a little bit of color coming across the top. I don't know what, right? I could bring in like some cherry wood. I look like a shingled roof, yeah. Which isn't bad. Um, so it's not a it's not a bad look at all. Actually, it's just um, so I'm trying to figure this out. The slabs definitely give it a little bit of a. You're right, a shingled look. I'm just gonna go ahead and do one side here. I see a white top off in the distance. Hello. Hi. Welcome, welcome. <sighs> Sounds like... Uh, Don't mind me just buying some totems. Buying some totems. Oh, I love to hear it. <laughs> I've got plenty more where those came from. At least until they nerf the... The... Um, Raid farms. They're a little pricey, but they work. Yep. Well, you know, it's about the only shop I've got, so I gotta <laughs> make what I can. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Ah! Looking good. Cheese monkeys. All right. Hello. All right. Have fun. All right, so yes, we're just gonna continue this across bushes. Yes, yeah, I think. So I think the I, I like the idea of a hanging garden in the middle, right? So that's I think that's what's gonna happen with this square. And as I bring this all up, right, you'll be down here. You'll have that view of the window. And then I'll bring various greenery and perhaps pinkery. That's not a word, but we're going to use it now because I think uh, I'll use some cherry blossoms and stuff. And we'll we'll bring in um, some of some of those th through the middle. Something something along those lines, right? I think that'll be fun, right? Sure, it will. It's going to be. No, actually it will. It'll be really cool to uh, bring all of that in. I just don't know how it's going to look. But then again, I didn't know how this was going to look. And it's starting to look really nice. So, you know, we'll, we'll just go with that. Okay. So let's see. Here we got all of this good stuff here. All right, that's that's fine. Um, I think I need to see what I want to do here at the bottom of this curve. Let's do the top here first, and then we'll figure that out. Okay. No, oh, we're good. Okay. Yes. Unparalleled flying skills. Would you believe I've actually had two flying lessons in my life? Yep. Successfully landed the plane multiple times. It's uh, it was great. <laughs> uh, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a pilot. And, uh, my, yeah, flying pinball. That's about it. Yeah, yeah, perpendicular. You know, it's... I did learn that maybe hitting the ground really hard in an airplane, not the way to go. 
No, I wanted to be a pilot as a kid, and I got a couple of flying lessons, but I was really too short. Um, I was a late bloomer. Okay, I think that's going to work. Yeah, that brings that down, all right. And, yeah, it was it was fun. I really enjoyed it. But, yeah, I was, I was too short to, to really be able to fly well. And I, so we put that on hold, and then I was just never able to get back and actually uh, continue to fly. But, yeah, it was so much fun, though. You were the Civil Air Patrol. Nice. Yep. See, my problem is I had I watched too many movies like Star Wars and Top Gun when I was a kid, and thought, "Yep, that is definitely the uh, career for me." Fighter pilot, smuggler, one of the two, you know. <laughs> well, see, the problem was, so I was twelve, maybe, and that was. I was just probably, uh, I was actually probably six inches or a foot too small. And I don't know that the plane that we flew actually had any cool features like that. Like, you know, adjustable seats. <laughs> but, no, nah, it was really good, though. I enjoyed it. It was... Definitely something that I would have liked to have continued to do, but I said I was I was the smallest kid in my class every year until about eleventh grade. Tenth yeah, tenth or eleventh grade. And yeah, which was bad here I am, I'm trying to play football when I was in you know, freshman in high school. And, yeah, I was just, I played speed bump. Technically, I was played safety, but the reality is I played speed bump. And, <laughs> yeah. You had a few intro lessons back in the 80s and 90s. Yeah, it's about when I was doing it, too. But, yeah, once I, yeah, once I hit, uh, I was at 15-ish, 16, something like that. Oh, yeah, my my height exploded. And I went from being relatively short to being, well, I'm, five, I'm six feet now, so, yeah. Okay, let's get some more. Hi, you don't belong here. Okay. I uh, don't need your sword, dude. I, I don't. Here, we're just going to leave it here. Someone will either claim it or not. We'll, we'll just see how that goes. But, yeah, it was fun. We, uh... Yeah, I mean, it wasn't much. We circled the airport and we did touch and goes. But, uh... <clears throat> But yeah, for the most part, I was flying on instruments because I had a had such a hard time seeing over the the console. But but it was good. Now let's hang on. I want to harvest some of this one here. Okay, just uh, for my own little. Rockety goodness. Uh, since I'm down here too, might as well fly or fly. Yes, fly into bed and sleep. Okay. Yeah, this is this is looking good. I'll take the torches off. I may have to come up here with a little bit of glow lichen just to uh, 
keep the roof spawn proof though if I do move the beacon inside which is a possibility then now well, it won't provide enough light out to the outsides but it's not all the way out here but it'll cover a fair amount of the building anyway All right. Okay, cool. So, that is looking pretty good. So, I think we've got a little bit too much tough here. So, I may come in with, um, may come in with some, I don't know, stone brick maybe instead. Just to uh, just to let this go, but it's a nice, yeah, it it's it's nice. Hot mic. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. When you're down here on the ground, right? Oh yeah, that's that is going to be a fun look as you're coming past it on foot. Okay, yeah. I mean, you won't be able to see much of it from up there, obviously, but, or, you know, from that level. When you're over here in the shopping district, you'll get a, a nice view of the ceiling up here. And now, and now this, this tower actually, it's a little more visible up here. <laughs> it was just low enough that it was like, okay, the tower is there, but you can't quite see it. Now it's going to stick up a little bit and you'll be able to see it and it's going to be great. So, all right, cool. All right, so good news is we've got that in place. Let's, what to do with this here? Um, I don't know. I don't know. So if it feels like, I've got too much tough up here, so I definitely want to do something with that, but I don't know quite what. Um, just because, yeah, you know, the tough is a good accent block coming up the side here. Reminds you of a modern church. Okay. On the Gulf Coast from the 70s. Yeah. Honestly, I think the church I went to when I was growing up. The church wasn't shaped like this, but we had a building. I was going to a Presbyterian church. There's a Lutheran church on the other end of the block. And the two churches got together and built a community. Sort of like a cultural hall center in the middle between the two. And it had a similar wave to this. So yeah, the uh <laughs> that 70s roof look. Yep. Okay. Let's let's see. How else do I want to do this? Let's come in. Yeah, it was it was an interesting building, <laughs> to say the least. Um Okay, I think what I want to do is let's, I want to bring in some brick. Let's get some uh, stone brick slabs. Because I think that's going to make this a little bit nicer. And Okay. And it was fun. Because the building was on a hill, you had the top floor with a parking lot on this side and then it went down the hill and then you had outdoor access to sort of a little bit of a grassy area between that and the Presbyterian church at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, it was fun. All right. Uh, say goodbye to the sun. Okay. 
I think I'm going to try this. Because I think... I think this is going to... Soften the tough maybe a little bit. Though... I don't know if that's quite how I want to do that, but... We'll go with it for the moment. Alright. And that'll go there. So... That actually helps quite a bit. Um, yeah, let's come down to these ones. I want to... Do I want to lower them? Hang on, I need to move my fat little bottom out of the way. All right. I wouldn't mind dropping this down, except I've got blocks right behind it, so it won't really matter, visually speaking. All right, yeah. I think that'll work. Um, I still might come in and replace some of that tough with a little bit of something else, but I think that'll work. Okay, let's figure out where the heck am I? All right. Right, here we go. Yep, and this is something, you know, if you get some, someone who's really good at design, you know, Fondus or somebody, they may have some other suggestions, but. But I like where this is going. Okay, so we'll get these in and then I'm, I'm going to go get uh, the glass and we'll get the windows in place so that, oops, that's one too many. Yeah, so we'll get the windows in place and that will at least finish that part of it. And then we can kind of see what's going to happen in the middle. Said so the greenery is a good thing, but then I also have this whole that whole room is just going to need help. Okay, one more side. I think it's just one more side, right? I hope. All right. Yeah, we're we're getting there. Uh, do I have more? <laughs> no, I don't. Of course, I don't. I need like eight more blocks. All right. That'll work. We'll just stone that up. All right. All right. I'm really liking what's happening with this this roof. It was It's a little, like I said, it's, it's weird as, as heck, but it, the, the odd shape is really working with this building. It's, oops, I think I missed a block down there. Yep. Because it definitely has a, definitely a weird shape to it, but I, I like where this is going. Um, I definitely need to do a little bit of something up there as I, when I get to it. But I think actually what I might do is let's let's get some polished tough slabs. So I think I want to shorten that uh, those far corners just a little bit. Right, so let's come back up here. This corner is just a touch tall, I think. So we take that off and put a slab there, and we'll do the same on the other side. I think that's going to fix just a little bit of its... Yeah, that's a little bit better. It fixes the line here just a touch. And I suppose if it were going to match... What's happening here? I'd actually take the whole thing off, but 
I think we're good. I don't know. Is it better? No, that just feels too tall. Yeah, we'll just we'll just stick it with slabs and we'll call that good. All right. Now. This is great and <laughs> it's going to be fun. This is actually yeah, yeah, better with slabs. And then this area, it actually looks kind of cool. Let's get inside for a minute. Uh, well, since I'm going to come down here, we'll get, we'll pick up some glass and things. Glass, glass, glass. Some of that I need. Some, oops, that's mangrove. Some cherry logs and... Do I have bamboo? Oh, yes, I do. Okay. My uh, bamboo farm... No, that's right. I need defenses. We're good. My bamboo farm breaks when uh, the server restarts. It's kind of annoying. Just, I've got a etho hopper clock that runs it and uh, just back here. And when the server restarts, sometimes these guys just get stuck, both of them, in an on state. Even though, like, this hopper will be empty. I'll still have redstone power here. It's like, that's just weird. But, okay. We're fine. Alright, so let's get up here and get the get the windows in. Oops, that's not stairs, that's portal. So, let's see now. How did I do this? Okay. That's always an interesting question, right? I've built this once before. I, you know, I'm not expected to actually remember how I built it the last time, am I? Is that right? Yes, that is right. Okay. Okay, and... Go ahead. I may have to cut down a couple more cherry trees. That's okay. And I think I actually do need to take that out. Okay. Yeah, just to just to match what I was doing with the rest of the the building there. Okay. Let's try this with a shovel this time. There we go. Am I going to make it? <sighs> One block. One block. It's all right. I've got a small cherry grove going on down here, so we be fine. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just I I actually do need to start thinking about clearing out this uh this forest back here, but we'll uh we'll kind of wait and see on that one a little bit. Alright. Alright, so plenty of Cherry wood. Speaking about movies that were ha were significantly better than they had any right to be, and speaking of movies from my childhood, the Care Bears movie. Right, at, no, seriously, the original Care Bears movie, which admittedly was a cash grab of hey, let's uh, introduce a whole new group of Care Bears, right? The, the Care Bear Cousins. You know. But man, that movie was was surprisingly good for being a uh, weird cash grab. 
Alright. Can I make it in the window? Uh, nope. That would be nope. Alright. That one and um what was it Rainbow Bright and the Star Stealer? I watched a lot of Rainbow Bright when I was a kid because I had sisters. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, just movies that had, were significantly better than they had any right to be. Oh, I should... Yeah, um... I'll need some frog lights and stuff up there, too, but... Alright. Yeah, we'll just pop these up here like this. And, you know, get all of the dirt out of here. But, yep, I'm definitely going to have to go hit up somebody's frog light shop. All right, and... We'll get that in a minute, but I do need to get this pink glass in place here. Right, I can I can do it. I can make my way around. It's all good. You know, I think I mentioned it when I built this window the first time. Pink is not my favorite color in the world. But I've definitely found myself building with it a lot. Okay. There, this glass in here like this. Not like that, that would be wrong. Okay. All right, and then. Ow. Right, up here. And this is more of our bamboo fence. Right? Yeah, I need to get it on the other side, but yeah. And obviously I need to get some more. Or, uh, more of the glass in here too. Okay. Uh, fence, there it is. All right. Well. Cool, at least a couple of those blocks were in the right place. All right. And up we go. That's not right at all. I'm so good at this game. I don't fall off of anything ever. <laughs> this is where I need that Baymax we jumped out a window. All right. Okay, do I have... Oh, yeah, I got plenty of glass. It's like, did I bring enough of this glass with me? I did. All right. Okay, other than the fact I need to clean out a bunch of dirt, that's... That's a stairwell. Cool. That's looking good. And you look at this from the outside now. Yeah, I may want to bring that window up a little bit there in the middle. Just to... Uh, just to follow this angle a little bit. But for now... I'm going to leave it. I, the other thing I could do maybe is... Do something with some of these blocks here in the center. Right, I could. I actually could come in with some cherry logs here in the center too and make that make that work that way. All right. Scaffolding. It exists. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Yeah, it's definitely looking looking good. It's looking a lot better than I feared it was going to look. I had I looked at that, and I had definite 
that uh, concerns. This all comes out. And then coming in there, there, right? Yeah, that line. Okay, cool. Hey, Anya, welcome. Hope you're having a fabulous day. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. All right. That's not where that goes at all. No, no, come back here. Thank you. I'm going to have to get some more. Ah. Ow. All right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> All right. I did. Perfect. How are you doing? Hopefully your day is going well. It's a very, very fine uh, well Tuesday here in the United States. I'm going to need some more fence. Let's let's head down, pick up some more fence. Oops. Gravity is cool. Wouldn't it be nice in real life if you could fall into like half an inch of water and uh, not have to worry about, you know, breaking anything? Yeah. That will work. Why do I have a flower? Must have hit it when I was chopping down trees. <laughs> ah, yes. I've I've done that drop once where I missed the bear, the uh chest at the bottom. That wasn't nearly as pleasant as it sounds. Fortunately, it's uh with feather falling boots. You know, it's still survivable. Okay. Well, gonna have to do this from over here. Two. Hang on, counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because counting is cool. All right. Okay, so, oh, actually, before I do that, let's get the these panes in place. All right. Cool, yeah, this tower is beginning to really, really come into its own. I was a little daunted by the size to begin with. <laughs> it's definitely a touch larger than I was envisioning when I started it. But I like how this is how it's coming together and <clears throat> this uh roof is really really working. Unlike my voice, <clears throat> which uh decided to give up there for a minute. Alright. Oh, hang on a sec. Uh resource packs. Oh yeah. I actually have, I have connected textures turned off. Yes, that's right, that's right. Cool, and then some, I forgot, yes, because this looks a little bit nicer. Yeah, when you turn on the connected textures, yeah. Five, six, all right, and Let's go get some frog lights. Oh, before I get the frog lights, let's actually finish this. And then we'll go get frog lights. All right. And carrots. Yep, we now have the options to do custom models and stuff on this, uh, on the server and I've toyed with the idea of, of modeling, but honestly, uh, a middle-aged fat guy is not really what most people are looking for in models, so that I ended up having to put those dreams on the shelf. But, 
Now, I'm going to have to sit down and play with Block Mansion a little bit. I've been meaning to do that for a while and just have never had a good reason to. Now I have a reason. Also, I'm stuck. Okay. That's fine. I can do it from up there. All right. Okay, there we go. Get this in place. Get the last of this glass in, and then I'll go get the frog lights to put on top. But yeah, this is starting to really, uh, really look good here. Uh, da -da 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 -bum -bum. All right, drop shaft again. Yeah. I think I, I need to expand my storage. I think I'm going to put it on this level here. I was toying with some other things, but um, like I was toying with the idea of maybe putting in a uh, an auto sorter of some of some sort or other. But the one I want to use is kind of too big, so I'm not sure I want to uh, do that. But I mean, it's easily adaptable. I can make it fit in the space, but. I don't know. I don't know if I want to. All right, let's get the yeah frog lights up here. All right, and frog lights are gonna come right on top of these guys. All right, let's do the same thing over here. All right, um, I, I think, well, actually, yeah, let's take a look at this. I'm really liking how this is working, right? We've got the, the windows now coming all the way up to the roof, and this roof shape is, is nice. Definitely, I want to come up, take out the torches and stuff, all that good stuff, but for now, I'm looking at this, and I think I actually want to bring the center of this window up a couple of blocks just to kind of fill out this angle a little bit better. So let's try this and just see what it looks like. Okay, so we're going to take how much of this out? Two, three. Let's just go that far. Okay, so that would go there and there. Okay, I'm out of pink glass. All of the things to run out of. Apparently pink glass is one of them. That's fine. Well, okay. We'll get it. We'll get it. I think. Do I have pink glass? That is the next question. Got some wool. I have glass, and I bet I have. Well, I thought I had some pink dyes. Um, I do have. Oh, there I do. Do have some pink dye. That'll work. Uh, no, that one, please. Thank you. It's nice to be able to re-dye things, but I don't want to. I kind of want the. All right, cool, that'll work. All right, so apparently I was keeping dye in one of these boxes. Okay. All right. So apparently I'm using a lot of pink. I, you know, like you do, I suppose. Pink is definitely a thing that is happening here today. Yeah, but out of this whole build, these windows are probably my favorite part of it. Uh, you know, it's just definitely in the pink. Yeah. All right. So, wait, this would come out. Okay. And this would come up this way. So, yeah. 
All right, so the pink would come up here like that. Oh, right. Yeah, so what I'm gonna have to do is yeah, bring the glass up here like this. And then, yeah, frog lights on top of that. Okay, let's do the top up here. All right, frog lights go there and there. And that goes here. We just have the issue with this. Okay. I think that's going to end up going away. Just because, partly because it's blocking the window, but yeah, it's just wonky. Okay. All right, so if that goes like that. Okay, you're kidding me, right? All right, well, that's fine. I was talking about getting rid of this. I will use that block. Yeah, I think I've... Yeah, that should look great. So let's go ahead and take these blocks out. I'll worry about how to do, deal with this planter in a bit. Um, but yeah, let's just free cam outside for a minute. Not bad, not bad. Um, bringing the glass up definitely helped. Um, not a hundred percent sure. I think, I think actually I want to bring up these pillars here just a little bit. So the frog lights are up a little bit higher and maybe take out like that tough block. Okay, let's, let's do that and see how that looks. But I think we're getting really close to uh, getting this sorted out. Okay, so pop up here. And so I want to take this. All right. No, nope, that's fine. <clears throat> yeah, I just didn't like quite where the um, where how visible the frog lights were. Okay. That's that's really about it. Um, also hang on a sec. That's going to come out. Which one was I looking at getting rid of? Ah, the one over the glass there. Okay. Take that out. Um, right. And then the frog light goes right there. That comes up. And that goes that way. Right. Something like that. Yeah. Um, is that the way I want it? I almost want to come in there and put a slab, but I think the slab... I do want to put a slab there. It's going to... All right, let's see. Do I have... I do have slabs. Okay. Um, right. Let's see if I can get there. Yeah, I need to bring back the... I was just looking at the one side just to see... To check on the shape. All right, so... Yeah, so the way this would go, that one would have to come out, right, to bring this in. And I think what I want to do, though, is I want to slab this. Now, ah, all right, nope, that's fine. Because I'm going to have to get some more slabs anyway, so we'll just do it while we're... If I'm going to fall off the tower, at least I can be... Um, somewhat efficient with it, right? Yeah, that frog light needs to come up. But, all right, no, no, we're good. Everything's fine. Everything is wonderful. Yeah, I need to move that frog light up. We'll get to that in a minute. Wow. 
shall we see how many more times it's going to take me to actually stick this landing? Ha-ha! Landing stuck. All right. All right. Uh, I have dirt. Dirt is cool. All right. So I think what I want to do is let's take that out. It is going to look a little bit weird because the glass won't connect. But, and obviously that frog light needs to move, but it, the shape of the roof is just better. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Though, ah, frog lights. That's fine. I can move the frog lights up. All right, cool. So let's uh, get inside and do that. Does that actually? No, I take that back. That one actually can stay, I think. Or it needs to come down one, not up one. <clears throat> also, apparently I need some water. Hang on. All right. Okay, don't worry. <clears throat> don't worry about this frog light over here. I'll move it in a minute. But yeah, that shapes the roof a lot nicer. <clears throat> okay. Oh, must be getting close to time to stopping. Close to that. Stream stop soon. Me no voice work. That, that's, um, wow. Ah, uh, my voice has decided that it's, uh, I, I must be, must be time to be done, right? That's, uh, okay, cool. All right, so that's going to come out. That's going to go to glass there. Okay. Oh, right, there's stuff in the way. And is that right? Am I on the right level? Yeah, I think so. All right, so that goes there. And then if I bring that up like that. No. That glass goes up. Okay, and then this. Yeah, I think I want to do it that way. Is that, is that looking right on the inside? Uh, kind of, sort of. There's a definite no happening with that. Okay. Um, no, I think what I need to do is actually do the slabbies over here, too. Okay, so that goes that way. And then this one as well. It used to really bother me when stuff like this didn't connect. And it still does. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, gravity. But that's okay. We uh, got it. So that's... So that's coming in along that side. And yeah, we're a little bit higher in here. Not sure I like that. I don't think I have a lot of choice given the look from the outside. Oh, those slabs look horrible. Okay. Mm, yeah. We're going to pretend this is every time I fall off, it's just intentional and yeah. Okay. No, those slabs look bad. Okay. No, no. All right. This is what I get for attempting to shape things. All right. I think let's go ahead and take this one out too. All right. It's not. Okay. 
that hopping around at least was intentional. Didn't do what I wanted it to do, but at least I meant to, you know, not do it or something. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's looking a lot better. Yeah, strategic repositioning, right? Yes. You didn't steal. You strategically transported equipment and resources. Um, or, yeah. All right. That is looking a little bit better. I mean, I could potentially bring down the sides here just a little bit, like where the bamboo is. But for the moment, I think this is pretty okay. And yes, the slabs don't connect, but from the ground, you'll never notice. Uh, or you'll barely notice. Okay, you'll you'll notice, but it's it's okay. It's an impressionist painting. We'll we'll give the impression of a connective block there. Now this side, I'll do the same thing on. I think I want to. Yeah, I'll do the same thing here. That's going to be a little bit more visible because we're coming in from the shopping district on this side, and you know this is what we see. But I think it's going to look okay doing that up there as well. So let's get up there. You know, angle that up. And I think at least the exterior of this is going to be done. Then comes the really hard part of the interior. And that is definitely going to be an issue. So... All right, so now we need to do, what was it? Two, three, and four, right? No. Okay. One of these things is not like the other. All right, so one, two, three, slab. Cool. One, two, three, and the slab is gonna go underneath that. Plop. All right. And this needs to come out. And that needs to come out. And that needs to come out. Okay. So basically, all of that needs to come out. All right. So that goes there. Um, I think those came down like that. I got zip across the other side and look. Right. And then the other one goes to... And then that's a slab. Okay. Two, and then this one's a slab. Cool. All right, and then these are going to come up this way. All right, and we take our handy-dandy frog lights. Oh, yeah, this is going to look... Well, it's going to look like the other side is what it's going to look like. Oh, I forgot to put the glass. <clears throat> Hang on. Okay, that goes there. This one's going to come up that way. And then this one, well. We have we have uh, silk touch for a reason. That's just absolutely a thing. Hide the gaps with gray banners? Maybe. Maybe. The problem with the banners is they move. And that can be a, an issue. All right. So I think I just, yeah. That needs to come up there. That glass needs to go up there. All right. And because I'm lazy, we'll just do it that way. All right, nice. Ah, festively covered banners. Yeah, yeah, that's... All right, so this should now work. And right, and just like the other side, I'm going to take out these tough blocks. 
All right. Okay, cool. And down goes the scaffolding. All right. This is this is good. Right? Yeah, it's Yeah, that's not bad. Um, again, you can see the gaps there, and that's okay. Overall, I think this is looking like a, a really nice... This is just a really nice entrance. And once I get whatever is going to happen here with the interior, it's going to be cool. And I'm looking at this... Oh, this is... This is slick. And now, yeah, so I think the next thing that's going to happen is work on a planter, and yeah, definitely something um, suspended from the ceiling, chains of some sort. Maybe um, I might use the grindstone type chains. That might look really cool. And then trying to figure out what the heck this is going to look like. So my pop-up shop is, or my shop is more than just shulkers on uh, scaffolding. Yeah, definitely a proper atrium. And the other question is, do I want to run the uh, beacon, or do I want to run a beacon through the middle of this? All right. So I have a beacon right now, because as I said, I needed to be digging some stuff out. No, I think I, let's not be hasty. See, I could do it. It wouldn't be hard even, right? I could take one of these blocks and make it a slab. Slabs are transparent. Yes, I want to run the beacon through the center. Uh, yeah, I think you you might be right. Okay, hang on. Torch that up. See, the good news is the center of this building is right there. Right, coming right down this way because of, you know, reasons. Okay. And then right there. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's put this glass away. That's not my storage room. That's just a hole in the wall. Yeah, let's free up a little bit of inventory space because I'm going to need it. All right. Um, like lights go there. Okay. Yep, I might as well take that stuff. Glass goes here. All right. All right, let's put the cherry stuff away. All right. You talked me into it. It didn't take much, but... Oh, let's, um, well, I've got some diamonds, so. All right, so now down here, we're talking about space. Five. Hmm. Okay, that's the center of it. All right, so I need, the beacon goes right there. All right, and then one, two, three, four. Of course, I just blocked my way out. That's cool. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And yes, I am making it a full-size beacon. I've got, we've got so much iron that why not? Two, three, four. And I've got haste right now, so it's not like... Uh, I'm going to be lacking in, you know, or that this is going to take a long time to do. It's just, okay. Now I could maybe put this lower, but I suppose if I want to, I can do that later, but. Okay. One, two, three, and four. That goes back to there.
And I, what I could do... Actually, I might want to put this... One block lower. Okay, so... Really hard question. What color do we make the beacon beam? Right? The, the, these are the hard questions now. I'm actually half tempted to make it pink. Um, I don't know why. But I can make it yellow too. <laughs> Which actually means I need to lower that down a block. Suppose it doesn't matter. But still, you know, it's a it's a the age old question. Piston controlled pink and yellow. Oh, the block updates though. Ah, so many block updates. Okay. Actually what I could do. Uh what I could do is I could have it change color through the entire tower. All right, hang on. This is what I get for putting it in there. All right, so I want, let's put it, I think actually, hang on a sec, let's see. I do want to put, a slab there. So if I want to put a color in, I'd have to put it a block above. That means this is going to have to go here. Okay. So this all comes out this way. Cool. All right. Now I can't get out, but you know, that's just one of those problems that you have to deal with. Hang on, one, two, three, four. All right. I don't typically build beacons from the bottom, but this is where we're at today. Okay. And this is why I don't typically build them from the bottom, because then I get confused. Close enough, right? Okay. Alright, so we'll just pop this in place. Yep. Iron farms are awesome. I actually have enough emeralds. I could build a base out of emeralds if I wanted to, but... I'd have to go out to the raid farm to get them. And I don't feel like doing that. Especially since I really do want to be wrapping up here in a minute. Okay. Yeah, assuming I built this base correctly. All right, now, right, so that goes that way. Did I, I built this like way too big, didn't I? Okay. Hang on, we're gonna clean out some space here just so I can see this, but maybe I didn't. Okay. Um, got more beacons. I have to go hit the uh, Wither Skeleton Farm. Because I am pretty much out now. Alright. Hang on, Minecraft. Don't crash on me now. Okay. Okay, you know what? It did anyway. I told it not to, and it did. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We can do it. 
Load up Minecraft again. <laughs> anyway. Nope, I don't need that. I wasn't recording that replay mod anyway, so. It's not worried about it. Okay. So here I was. Streaming. Okay. Yeah. Come back and get creepered. It's all right. I'm all good. Okay. Goes there. All right. So now, let's see. Do I... I do have a stone brick slab. That'll work. Um... All right, so we're okay all the way to the top. Hang on a sec. That is minus 709, minus 595. 709, 595. 709, 595. 709. That would be this one right here. Oh, right, there's a, a, right. Darn it, S silly slabs. All right, so we'll do it like that. Darn it, that block can go away. This one will come out, that. All right, no, we'll, I can make this work eventually. Right, so do it like this. Okay. Slab, slab. Okay. Those come out, that comes out, this comes out. And now we just put one of those slabs in the wrong place and Rail at least makes sense to me. This one, it's less sensical. Okay. Slabs, it's just, you've got to dance around them, which is uh, a real pain. All right, let's go inside. We'll clear out that center block of dirt. Actually, this whole center pillar. Awesome. Missed one. <laughs> All right, well, we'll take the trip back up. Not the, I will forever make that mistake. This was a bad design. All right. All right, so this all comes out that way. There's the beacon beam. All right. Wonderful. Now, let's get some glass here to figure out what I... It's got to be pink, doesn't it? It does. It has to be pink. It's just... All right. So, cool. How do I want to do that? Where's my drop? There it is. Okay, so pink. Easily doable. Um, all right, so we get ourselves pink glass. And do I have oak slabs? I don't. I do have oak wood on me, though. Okay. So let's go ahead and craft up some slabs. And right. Okay. This will be quick and easy and yeah. So step one. Let's, let's program this guy. That's not how we program it. Okay. Hi. 
All right, so what do I want to put on this thing? Um, regen. Anything else? What would be not annoying? We'll put some resistance and we'll put some regen. All right. Great. Oops, that's not quite what I needed. Okay. Glass there. All right. And now we can come up all of these beacon beam places. Uh, slabs. Cool. Light levels. You know, I, I always thought the... I always thought the beacon should uh, cast more light, but that's all right. It's all right. We'll just go with this for the moment. Ha, you can't even see the torch. Okay. There. So it looks like the beam is creating light because of yeah, magic. Yeah, the beacon does. The beam itself doesn't, though. And I'm going to need more slaps. Fine. That's fine. Can... Ah, I don't have a crafting table in there. Oh, yeah, I do. It's... Nope, I don't have a crafting table there. Cool. I usually keep a crafting table in my ender chest, but apparently today I don't. <sighs> I thought about that, Thomas. Alternating the colors. Um... The problem with that is that uh, I'd have to put a, I could put a glass block there, which is absolutely possible. Um, whatever else happens, this one I think needs to stay pink. But the rest of it, you know, I just want to get up there and slap some light up there because I don't think I've got enough. Oh, I do, just barely. All right. Cool. And let's go ahead and take this out. And then let's take a quick look from the outside and just <clears throat> see how this looks. All right. And we'll eat some carrots because... Might as well do it from over here in the shopping district. That's not bad. You know, there are a couple of places... I was toying with the idea of maybe having the beacon... <clears throat> having beacon beams come out here. But I don't have enough... Uh, I don't think I have enough space for that. Excuse me. I guess I do. Oh, I do. I do. I do. Ah. I might, I could put some in, they'd be unpowered, but. Hmm. Welcome back, Snoopers. Well, that's looking okay. The, the beacon beam, it, it works. I think that'll be fine. And, uh, you know, if we were to pop up some uh, shaders here. Yeah, see? That's looking okay. Oh, I need... BSL fog effect is a little thick. But that's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. But I like it. Definitely have to get up and clean the torches off. And it said probably a little bit of uh, glow like and spam up there. But this is, uh, I seriously, I'm kind of shocked at how this turned out. But wow, <laughs> I'm, I'm thrilled. This is actually really cool. Uh, 
Welcome in, Jax. Glad to have you here. This is, uh... I, okay, I had no idea how this was going to work when we uh, started the stream. I have no idea still how it worked, but uh, <laughs> I'm down. We we can. And it's, I'm curious. Let's swing down here. And shrink. Oh, that's. Yeah, that roof gives it just a, a bit of a weird, weird thing, but just because it's got that sort of swoopy angle to it. But I think it works. I think this is going to be a oops, to sunflower in the way. But yeah, you're certainly not going to miss the tower. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's a little awkward, but I like it better than the flat roof that I had before. And I don't want it to come overhanging the sides. So, yeah, I think this is going to work. So, a modern look of a skyscraper or a high rise. Yeah, no, you are absolutely correct. Okay, yep, definitely won't be able to miss that one. So if you're looking for an easy way into the uh, community farms, well, there it is. <laughs> Walk that way for the stairs or just jump down here with the elytra. Oh, this does look so cool from the inside. Sorry, I just love this view, right? Come down from the shopping district and there's the tower on this side, just sort of nestled into the, the crack, you know? It's like, yep, there it is. It just looks cool. I love the way that fills that in. Okay, cool. <laughs> and that's good. So, you know, if you have uh, resistance and regen now in this area, you know. I have haste currently because I was, I have that other beacon that's outside. That will come down and I'll just leave I could just leave the the regen on. <laughs> the horse does. It's we're having discussions. It's trying to fit into skinny jeans. I keep trying to tell it skinny jeans are not made for horses, but it won't listen to me. Okay, Black Pearl is thinking skinny jeans. It's also trying to grow a little goatee. That's not working either. Um, in all honesty, and I, I hate to break it to it, it's just, some things just don't work for the horse. Ah, but on that note, um, oh, this is so cool. So I got to go up and take a look at this from the, uh, from the inside, because the inside of this roof actually has a, just a cool look to it, too. Yeah, see, that's going to look really cool, especially once they come in here on Thursday and start getting uh, greenery and building out the interior of the shop and all of that stuff. Oh, yeah, this is going to look oh, it's going to look so cool. But I need to stop. I've run over time by about half an hour, so <laughs> it's all good. But yeah, I, I like how this is going. Thank you all for hanging out because, oh man, there's, there's a lot of this that would not have worked, I think, without a lot of your help, um, ideas and tips and just helping center my mind, you know, kind of figure out what the heck I'm doing with all of this stuff. So, um, but thank you all again, streaming again, Thursday, 6 PM mountain daylight time. And musicfreegaming.com is where you can go to support me. You can also now go there, s sign up for free. Um, and I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet for, for free members over there. But uh, paid members get early access to my podcast and all that good stuff. And Jax, thank you for stopping by. It's your first stream. I know 
I'm ending right after you got here. But thank you. I'm glad you liked the build. Um, I, this is I'm definitely stretching some of my artistic, you know, something or other here. And uh, until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.